Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tap. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and start your PlayStation 5 from your mobile device or your, the PS app. So here's the PlayStation app. You can get this through the Google Play Store. But just go ahead and open this up, sign into your account, and you can start a game or download from your phone. So sometimes this application can be a little bit slow. And when it loads, let's go back here. I was clicking on the Elder Scrolls Online. So we're going to be under this tab right here. This is the home screen. What we want to do is go over to game library or just click on one of the games on the front there if we have the option. But under game library, we can see the recently played games or we can search for it with the search bar if we can't find it. So let's go to Helldivers 2. And when we select the game, you can see we can play using remote play. And sometimes I will get my PlayStation started up by using remote play. I'll um, use the on-screen controls and go to a party and start up a party chat and then I'll get everything um, ready to go otherwise you can just go to play on console right here and this will turn on your PlayStation 5 and it will launch the game so you can do either using remote play or play on console and that will start your PlayStation 5 so let's go to play on console right now connecting to my device I heard it beep and let's see what happens after this. So usually I like using remote play because I can just control the entire screen. And if you have a passcode, uh, you might have to enter in your passcode. So that is why this didn't work. So I have a login passcode. You can get around that by going to play using remote play. So it's connecting by remote play. And this will give me the option to type in my passcode now. So, search for connection. Just make sure your PlayStation 5 is connected to the internet. And you can even use this, I think, now if you're just on a wireless connection or like a, a 5G connection and just using your phone wherever. So, you don't have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. You just have to make sure your PlayStation 5 is linked. Otherwise, you'll have to type in a specific code. And here, you can type in the passcode. So, you can see controller button chart if you don't know what it is, but I know uh, left is one, up is two, three is right, maybe four is down. So let's just type this in and see. So, yep, I was right. And then here's the other button, so type that in. So let's go back and then type it in. And I should be able to connect to my PlayStation 5 now. And you can even turn it off. So when you disconnect from remote play, you can turn off your PlayStation 5. So, hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.